it's not much what I get, but I wouldn't be able to eat it all if I didn't have it. Kerry Jones, or CJ as his friends call him, is a gay man who is just getting by on food stamps. And CJ's not alone. In fact, not at all. A study by the Williams Institute found that more than one in four LGBT adults experienced a time in the past year when they didn't have enough money to feed themselves or their family. Well, that's about 2.4 million people, two times the amount of non-LGBT adults. CJ told us the unique challenges LGBT people face has a big impact on the numbers. The parents don't understand and they kick them out and they have no place to go where they go stay with a friend and, you know, they won't or can't get a job and so the only thing they can do to help pay for their part of staying wherever they're staying is go get food stamps. While food stamps are one option, One in 10 is an organization that helps get 50 meals a day to LGBT youth and 100 meals a day in the summer when meals at school aren't an option. Another resource here in Phoenix helps feed a different subgroup of the LGBT community. The Joshua Tree Feeding Program, these are members of the LGBT community who are living with HIV and AIDS. So a lot of their uh, financial resources may go towards their health uh, care. CJ can't work anymore because of a workplace injury. He misses his independence, but feels fed in other ways by helping other members of his community get back on their feet. What keeps me going is doing my volunteer work and uh, my dogs. <laughs> volunteer work that may change the very issues the LGBT community is now facing.